Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris from New York, um, Westchester County. Today is uh, November 10th, 2018, and I want to tell you something that I've been observing in the sky for the last couple of days. Uh, it's uh, called uh, Venus, our fake planet Venus, the amazing light show in the sky, that is. And I want to tell you a little something about Venus. Venus on the uh, eastern coast of uh, the U.S. is uh, seen very early in the morning. I think it comes out right at around 5.30, 5.45 in the morning. And it disappears about an hour later, around 6.43. I think I, I had it marked out right at about the time the sun comes closer to us. Now... I tried to observe this on my phone, but it was a, this is a Note 8 that I have, and you're not gonna you're not gonna be able to get any sky view with with this uh, with this camera, and it keeps focusing in and out, and as as you can see in a couple of videos I did before, uh, with the moon um, trying to focus in on that. But my point is, what I would like somebody to do, because this thing just disappears. Now I remember this a long time ago uh, with my significant other. This is when all the planets were aligning. It's happened quite a few times since then, but um, right at dusk, we were in a parking lot, uh, and I knew where, where they were going to align, and right when the sun was going down, it didn't, it, you know, the illumination wasn't, like, natural. What the hell is this guy doing? Oh, God. Uh, it wasn't, like, natural. Um, it was like almost somebody flipped on a switch, and that's exactly what this looked like this morning. You know, I mean, it was like somebody just flipped the switch off and Venus just poof, gone, you know? It wasn't a gradual, gradual disappearance. It was just like, it was literally like somebody turned, just the, the, the creator just flipped the switch off and that was it. It was gone. My, now, my, my thing that I would like somebody to do, I don't have my P9, P1000, but it is coming, I'm sure. Um, but uh, if somebody has this wonderful piece of equipment, um, please don't be shy. Show this to everybody. Zoom in on this planet, all right? Well, whatever you want to call it. It's not a planet, but zoom in on this amazing light show, all right? And I want to see this thing just disappear out of the sky because that's what it does. It doesn't gradually go. You say, oh, yeah, you're looking at it with your naked eye. Bullshit. This thing just disappears like a light. Check it out. Take a look. If you're on the eastern uh, uh, coast of, of the U.S., it's there. You can see it. It's there. It, it pops out at around 530 in the morning, and it's there all the way up until the sun rises. Uh, whatever. It comes closer to us. You know what I'm talking about. This is something that I think should be important for people to witness and see, because when this is out, I've been noticing it for the last three or four days early in the morning. I mean, it looks like a miniature sun. I mean, it's that bright. The illumination of this is really, really bright. You can't miss it. Um, anyway, so, you know, if, if anybody can do that, I, I recommend that you try it and, and you know, post it. it it's going to be, it's going to get a lot of views, I'm sure. One of the things I'd like to get into, um, I was listening to a couple of debates and I'm not really one for debates because it's just a total waste of time, you know. I mean, you're fighting against somebody who thinks they live in a cartoon and they believe everything that there is, even though they're given absolutely no proof at all or no evidence. Um, they think there's a core in the middle of uh, the so-called planet, but yet we don't have a single picture of it. Um, well, how could you get a picture of the core? How could you get pictures of layers? It, we know what it is. It's been drawn for us. It's there. We haven't dug down more than eight miles, professors. We don't know what is underneath us. Probably molten lava, my guess would be. All right. But that's that's just speculation. But apparently the reason why we can't drill down there is because it gets so hot. We don't have a drill bit that would even make it. It gets destroyed. So it's obviously lava or something down there. The creator doesn't want us to go down there, obviously. And he definitely, I don't think, wants us to go up there either. Um, thus, the firmament. So we don't, we're trapped in this terrarium, shall we say, with no way in and no way out, presumably. Uh, we don't know what's at Antarctica, if there's an entrance there, if, if, if there's something there that 
that can that we can escape from or, or whatever you know I mean really um, my point is to these people who think they live on this globe and that are still asleep you have absolutely no evidence at all of living on a planet living in a solar system or living anywhere that you think you live except in drawings that is all you have are drawings cgi And drawings. I mean, you might as well just take... Oh, you want me to tell you what the core of the Earth is? Give me a crayon, and I'll write it down on a sheet of paper for you. That's what the freaking core looks like. All right, come on, guys. I mean, it's it's it really, it's common sense that you wait... Look, I was there too, so don't get me wrong. But it's common sense. People need to wake up and understand that everything is fake. Everything is is, is not what they were told in the beginning. And it's, it's just the way it is. You know, I'm, I'm sorry to break it to you. I, I was shocked when I found out, too. It's tough. <laughs> you know, some people can go through it. Some people can't. They can't be bothered with it, obviously. Why, well, I have no idea. But they can't be bothered with it. It's too much. It's too much for the system. Too much for them to handle, obviously. That's what I think their problem is, in a way. You know, it, it, it's going to change them. And they don't want change. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe people who stick onto this globe, they just are so used to their daily routine and daily bullshit that they do that they just don't want it to be changed, you know, with anything else. That's, I don't know if that makes any sense, but um, anyway, I, I just wanted to put that out there, you know. Uh, it really needs to be addressed to, to people who think they live on this ball, you know. There's just absolutely no proof that they live on it. Well, then what kind of proof do you have if you live on a flat land? There's plenty of proof. I mean, there there is. It, it's it's observation. And and if you if, if people would go out and observe what's around them, they'll figure out that they live on a flat land here. That they're it's motionless. That we're not moving. <laughs> we're not we're not going anywhere. We're not we're we're not spinning at a thousand miles per hour. You know, we're we're completely motionless here. Look at the clouds. Look at the moon. You're telling me I could zoom in on a fucking moon with a P-1000 and see craters on it when this thing is supposedly 260,000 miles from us? It's it's impossible. I can't even zoom in on, on something that's like 75 miles away. But yet I could see this perfectly. All right? Look, observe. There really should be more experiments done on the sun. Okay? The sun is... Something they are definitely hiding with these fucking chemtrails, okay? I'm telling you, there's something that they don't want us to see. Every morning, every evening, they just spray us, okay? And it's it's always right and around sun, you know, when the sun goes down and the sun comes up or comes closer to us, whatever whatever it may be, whatever your beliefs are. You know, we all know that it doesn't go over a horizon or anything like that. Um, it's, it's going further away from us and it's coming closer to us, but however you want to say it. So people understand that's fine. And in my terms, I'm just going to say it's going away for, for this particular video. And, uh, they do it all the time. They did it this morning. They did it yesterday morning. They do it every morning and every night they do it. Uh, so there's something about that, you know, and I've seen videos with the, uh, with the drones, going really, really high up and trying to get it. It never sets. It's just further and further and further away. I don't know, guys. You know, people say the simulation. I say the simulation. I say it could be anything where this thing actually really goes. I have no idea. But look, I mean, it's just perspective that people need to see. Um, I didn't want to make this too long. I just wanted to touch base with everybody, see how everybody's doing. I hope you're having a good weekend. Um, as you can see behind me, I am shopping today. I have clothes to get. And, uh, uh, I hate doing it. I, I absolutely hate shopping. It's probably one of the worst torture you can put a man through, whether they're a flat earther or not. Uh, I, it's something that is so undesirable. Um, and that's probably why everybody, that's why Amazon's so popular, but, uh, I don't really, use, I don't use them. So, uh, I got to go in with the people that are asleep in there and while well, they go for these 65% sales and destroy the store looking for it like they're animals. 
But what are you going to do? That's how they were trained. That's how we were trained. You know, that, that's what they want. <laughs> that's, and, they, and they got it. And, and they, they did such a fine job doing it. And uh, unless if they wake up, they will have it for a good long time. But these people have to wake up. And that'll put an end to all of this nonsense. I thank you for subbing. I thank you for uh, viewing my videos. I thank you for letting me be a part of your life.